Yeah, what's going on, everybody? Just wanted to give you guys a quick update. As you can see, um, the cover crop slash companion plant uh, blend is coming in. Um, it was some of the leftover build a soil 12 seed blend stuff uh, um, that I did have uh, sitting around. Um, the beds, uh, they were very hydrophobic. And so it's taken me coming in here every day and giving them a good soak um, to make sure uh, that uh, they, you know, they're not just, water's not just running through. And I knew that getting these uh, companion plants, cover crop seed in, was going to help tremendously in rebuilding the soil structure. Um, because then they're, they're going to be uh, calling for microbes and, and whatnot and, and have their own exudate process and, and all that kind of stuff going on. Um, below the surface um, which will get you know get the uh, the soil uh, back and ready and in shape for the cannabis um, next week I'm going to be picking up some cannabis cuts and um, getting ready to put them in here I'm going to do 15 in this 4x8 bed um, the uh, let me back up here the um, HLG is doing really good um, when I got it uh, I thought I ordered the 220 and it came in 110 or 240 and it came in 110. So um, I called HLG, awesome customer service. They are uh, they sent me two 240 cords um, to just rewire in the 240, and um, I went to plug this one in just to check it and it was DOA. So I called them. They sent me a new one, no questions asked. Didn't even require me to send that one back straight away. Um, so they're sending me a new one. It should be in tomorrow, and that one's going to be already wired 240. So all I got to do is rewire that one. Then I'll have both HLGs up, and then I'm going to be putting one Gavita over each of the outside 4x8 beds. So we'll end up having a little bit of mixed light. And I'm interested, really interested to see how that goes um, for a couple reasons. So, um, yeah, so uh, that's uh, that's good. So I think... I think we're after this weekend. I'll have the be the beds will have a good enough hydration where I'll actually be able to get the blue mats installed. They've been soaking and um, and uh, after being cleaned over there in the bucket, so they're just sitting in that bucket of water waiting to be set back up. <clears throat> so I'm looking forward to it. Gonna have the two HLGs and two thousand watt Gavitas up in the room. And, and very much looking forward to seeing what happens with that. Um, we're just going to be doing high THC cannabis in this bed with the 15 plants. And then in these outside beds, we're probably going to do veggies. Or um, I do have some hemp seed, and I'm interested to see how hemp does indoors. And so I might be doing some hemp here. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but this also uh, gives me a, a, some time to discuss... Uh, what I've learned with the Dr. Elaine Ingham Soil Food Web School and the foundation course material and then the subsequent launcher lab um, section, which I'm about to complete. And so uh, this is going to be the last time I'm going to put any nutrient packs or anything in this soil. Because the one thing that I did take away from her, um, her class or her, you know, or her course, I think is more appropriate, is... There is, uh, I got a tropical convalescing in here. Uh, cats are chewing on it. Um, but anyway, the, uh, let me see if I can spin this sucker around. Oh, I bet I can't. So anyway, the, um, what Dr. Lane is saying is that, and what science has proven, is that there is enough NPK and trace in the parent material of any soil to feed any plant in the world all you need is the biology to take care of that so um i'm i'm a believer uh uh i we we learned about case study after case study after case study so <clears throat> as long as there's organic matter and biology there's going to be enough nutrient for any crop that you're trying to grow and and i know that a lot of people are, are going to find that hard to believe 
Um, that was a really tough one for me to wrap my head around as well. Um, but I think understanding just actually how little um, even your hungriest plants actually need to produce um, a, a, a good quality end product is amazing. And, I, and it, it was, I likened it to like us being able to smell uh, a, a steak or smelling some pasta and getting full by it and getting nutritional relief from just smelling it. That, that's how I think of like plant nutrient uptake. They really just need, and I know, and you know, uh, I know it sounds kind of uh, over the top, and it's it's meant to be, but it's meant to be over the top to to uh, paint a picture of how little plants actually need to consume to um, do what they need to do. Photosynthesis is a super important part of this thing, where they actually use that carbon to build their structure. Uh, 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 massively important, and and what they're actually getting from the roots. Um, is not as much as you would think. They don't need as much. So, um, being a believer, in, you know, and 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 learning what I've learned this last time of filling with the nutrients is going to be it. From here on out, it's going to be just compost and biology, and and we're going to document that from here on out. And I and I'm going to have the ability to look under a microscope and quantify the soil biology um, to corroborate um, whatever the results are. So, anyway, that being said, just wanted to pop on and let you guys know what was going on. Um, little snafu with the lights, waiting to get uh, that second HLG in tomorrow. Then I'm going to hang everything in here. Um, we're waiting for the beds to kind of equalize and moisture to get right and the, the companion plants and cover crops to come in. So in about another week or so, um, maybe two weeks, we should have some starts to plug into the system and we'll be off and running. Um, but in the meantime... I'm excited to see these beds coming back to life and um, did my first kind of uh, 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 microscope analysis yesterday and um, so I have a good baseline and I'm, I'm very much looking forward to watching the progress and documenting it and, and having you guys back on board. All right, be good.